Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Let's start a webinar. A webinar dedicated to Pass Hydra system. First, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sergey Lisin, and I'm Pass Support and Quality Assurance Engineer, and I will be your host during this webinar. Our webinar will have the following agenda. So, first, we we say a couple of words about Hydra system itself, make a brief overview of the software. Secondly, we're going to talk about the new features of the latest version of Hydra system 4.5. And after that, we're going to have a question and answer section. So if you have any questions, you can write it down our Q&A box. And after the webinar is over, we're going we're gonna to discuss all the questions that you may have. And let's start with a brief overview of Hydra system software. For those who don't know or for those who don't remember, allow me to remind you what we do in our past Hydra system software. Hydra system software is what, what you call a fluid flow analysis piping software. So it's a software dedicated for fluid flow analysis inside piping systems. It's very experienced software. It was first introduced in 1977, many, many years ago, and it was blessed by world well-known hydraulic guru named Delchik, who wrote a lot of stuff about hydraulic calculations, hydraulic resistances, the famous Idelchik book, et cetera, et cetera. And currently, Hydro System is used more by more than 600 companies worldwide. And we position it as, as an ideal tool for day-to-day -to -day operations in designing, uh, hydraulic designing, thermal designing of any piping systems. So what it does, Hydro System performs heat and hydraulic calculation, first of all, for steady state flow, and for different types of um, different types of fluids, for liquids, for real gases, for gas liquid mixtures, for gas liquid liquid mixture, if you have some three phase flow, and for mixtures of liquid and some solid particles or something like this, something that you usually call a settling slurry flow. Also, hydro system allows to perform search analysis, uh, transient flow analysis, liquid flow, where we do a calculation of water hammer phenomena. And hydro system is suitable for any piping systems of any complexity. Hydro system allows to cal calculate upstream and downstream pressure drop calculation. It allows to calculate flow distribution inside different types of piping systems. It also allows you, allows you to calculate nominal sizes for your pipeline, so perform damages analysis. It has a customizable reports with calculation results where you can view Anything that happens inside your pipeline at each and every piping component, you will see the fluid properties, fluid velocities, pressure drop, heat losses, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So you will know when, you, when you're working with Hydro System, you, you're going to see what is, what is going on in every, any in every point inside this pipe. And Hydro System has a very broad applicability. It's suitable for almost any industry's piping systems, oil refinery, chemical industry, metallurgy, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's suitable for oil and gas piping systems. It's suitable for utility networks, such as heating networks, water networks, natural gas networks, et cetera, et cetera. So if you're dealing with any types of pipelines, I think Hydro System will help you with that. Hydro System has a very strong integration capabilities. It has uh, a lot of very convenient interfaces with different software. For example, we have our two-side interface with an, our, another um, software called Pastar Prof, is software for stress analysis. So if you would like to perform not, also, uh, not, not only hydraulic, but also stress analysis, you can import and export your piping model between these two programs, and you're not going to need to build a model in each program. Wrong. Also, we have a two-side interface with PCF files, which allows you to connect Hydro System to any software that supports these PCF files. There's a lot of different software. I can I can name only a few, but the list goes on and on. And also, Hydro System has its own XML neutral format files, which allows you to make a connection with any of your own software to allow that will allow you to import data from any of your software into Hydro System. For example, we made on our own, we made uh, interfaces with different Autodesk software, uh, Revit and Civil 3D, and with different Aviva software, and PDMS, C3D, and Marine. And this, this, these interfaces are already working, but you can do the same interface for any, um, any 3D or any other software that you work with. 
And also how the system can generate DXFLs if you would like to make uh, drawings uh, of your pipeline and then export it to work with these drawings in AutoCAD or MicroStation or CorelDRAW or any software of this kind. So if you're working with Hydro System, you're connected to different, different, different types of software around. Hydro System has a very flexible licensing. So if you need not all of Hydro System capabilities, but only one or two or three of them, you can separately license any models of Hydro System. We have all the calculation capabilities divided into a separate modules. And in Hydro System, we have a lot of convenient tools that are always at hand. And these tools are, first of all, in Hydro System, you have a very strong capabilities of fluid properties and fluid equilibrium calculation. We have a lot of built-in libraries, thermodynamical libraries that allows you to calculate your fluid properties, your phase equilibrium if needed, if you calculate, for example, some kind of flashing or condensing flow or something like this. We have a STAS library that contains over 1,600 of different substances, and you can calculate all the substances and their mixtures. We have a water steam pro library that allows you a precise calculation of water and steam properties and phase equilibrium. We have GRG 2008 libraries, especially for, especially for natural gas properties and phase equilibrium. And we have ability to integrate hydro system with seamless thermodynamics and PVT seam for if you need to calculate uh, other than the 1600 substances that we have in our built-in library. So you can connect this program and perform your calculate, calculation of fluid properties in phase equilibrium with the help of, of this software. In Hydro System, we have a capability of PAM selection. Uh, we have a special additional software called SPACE that is free for any Hydro System users. So you can simply download it, install it on your PC, and Hydro System will use this SPACE when you need to select some pumps. So you call it, and Hydro System call, calls it, and this SPACE gives you a list of suitable pumps for your liquid and you can choose whichever do you prefer so in hydro system you can also select pumps for your piping systems hydro system has a very uh, has a lot of interesting tools for two-phase flow calculation it now it allows not only to calculate the pressure drops the velocities etc cetera, etc cetera, it also allows you to build this kind of flow pattern map that will uh, give you information about what fluid flow pattern map you have on each and every piping component inside your pipeline. And you can also be advised of what to do if your piping is working in not desired flow pattern. For example, if you have some kind of intermittent flow, slack flow, plug flow, et cetera, et cetera. We're gonna talk about this bad flow patterns in a minute. So you can understand that you have a problem and you can understand what to do to escape this problem via this flow pattern map. In Hydro System, we have a very strong capabilities of search analysis and calculation. Again, Hydro System not only can uh, calculate the search analysis and calculate the pressure waves, et cetera, et cetera, they also can visualize all this phenomena so you can see what is happening right on your piping diagram, how the waves are traveling, how they crush your equipment, et cetera, et cetera, how they connect to each other, collide with each other, Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. And in Hydro System, we have a special options for uh, calculation not only the hydraulic parameters but also the forces that will affect on elbows, bands, uh, valves, and other piping components. And we can export these forces to our, another software called Start Pro for piping stress analysis, where you can find out what will happen with your pipeline if these forces will be loaded applied in the different parts of your pipeline. And we're gonna talk about this feature in a minute. Let's talk about it. Uh, let's talk about what's new in Pass Hydro System latest version 4.5. The major new key feature that we presented in this new version of Hydro System is calculation of the slack flow properties, two-phase slack flow properties inside piping systems. For those who don't know, who, who doesn't know what, what is the slack flow, allow me to show it to you in a, in a brief example. I have a special, very good looking video. Um, the slack flow is when you have a uh, gas and liquid flow inside piping and you have interchange, some kind of interchange between gas and liquid flow. Now, please look carefully at this horizontal pipe over here, this pipe. 
I'm gonna decrease the speed so we can see how how this flow goes through the spec. You see, it, uh, at first it, it may seem that it's some kind of separated or stratified flow. You have a gas at the top, you have a liquid at the bottom, but then all of a sudden, bang, you see, oh, once again, <laughs> let's look at this one more time. We have gas, we have liquid, and then we have some kind of this thing, this guy over here. They usually call it a slug, a liquid slug that uh, takes all the piping, piping section. Out at the top. And as you may guess, this liquid slug will strongly affect, first of all, on the different piping components, such as elbows, um, bands, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, because it's it's very powerful thing if it has um, great velocity and great density. And also, this thing can cause vibrations inside your pipeline. That depends on how how frequently these slugs are following or uh, going inside this pipeline. But this problem can be very, very crucial for piping for, for piping functionality, for piping operation, because you need to so, to select a suitable support that will help you to avoid the piping movements, the piping. Um, even fracturing because this thing will can 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 cause a lot of a lot of really crucial loads inside the pipeline. And the crucial thing for piping design is to calculate what loads will be how how strong this slug will hit your elbows, your bands, etc., 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 and whether we need or we don't need to make some additional measures to support this pipeline. Now, currently working, with, when you're working with hydro system, you can calculate all the slug, slug, slug properties, slug parameters. You can calculate slug sizes, slug velocity, slug fre frequency, slug density, et cetera, et cetera. You can calculate not only these parameters, but you can also calculate the slug flow induced forces on piping bands and elbows. And you can also export these forces to our another software called Start Pro for piping stress analysis. So using these two software combined, you can understand whether whether you have a problem or not. Allow me to show it uh, show it to you the whole pain of interaction between these two software, how it works, and how what 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 should you do to understand if you have a problem with slug flow or or you don't. It it's always start with uh, with the Start Pro software. Allow me to open some piping model. For example, something like this. Okay. Okay. This type of pipe. A simple pipeline, nothing special. And we have a mixture of water and air inside this pipe. And first, let's calculate the stress analysis, a simple stress analysis in Fast Start Prof. No, I don't want to save the file. Let's perform the calculation and we see that everything's fine. No warnings, no errors, everything seems to fine. Let's check the movements. In Start Prof, you can see how your piping is moving. Okay, let's look at the working mode first. And let's look at the notes. Well, we have a, a slight movements, very, very slight. You can see, right? That pipe, piping system a little it has a little bit moving, but not nothing crucial, nothing special. Everything's fine. Okay, let's then uh, perform the stre uh, after stress analysis. Let's perform the slug flow analysis to understand what kind of uh, parameters of the slug flow will be in uh, inside this pipeline. To do this, we need to first we go to hide the system. Here I have hide the system, and first of all, you need to import this pipeline from Start Pro. It goes like this. It's very easy. You simply press import, simply select the file. Okay. okay. Start pro. Here it is. I simply import it. Okay. It's done. The same piping model, but you don't have here all these intermediate nodes that. Uh, Shows supports another another element outside the piping that required for start prof in hydro system to perform analysis inside the pipe. We don't need this. No, so hydro system imports only thing that crucial for hydraulic analysis. 
In here, in the hydro system, what, what we need to do? First of all, we need to specify what kind of fluid uh, we have inside this pipe. I'm going to set up a mixture of water and air. So the first fluid will be a water. Sir. And I'm going to add another fluid. Yes, and it will be air. We have a special kind of component called air, the pseudo component, because air is a mixture, it's not a pure substance, but we have it as a pseudo component. Okay, so we have a mixture of water and air, and we're going to need to specify our boundary conditions. For example, boundary conditions for this pipeline will be the pressure inside the first node called node number 12. For example, let's specify the pressure of three megapascals in here. And for example, let's the flow rate, flow rate at the outlet in this pipeline will be 2,000 tons per hour, 2 million kilograms per hour. And we need to specify the ratio between gas and liquid flow inside this pipeline. Okay, or gas content, vapor quality, you can call it whatever you want, um, you should say. So for example, in this pipeline, I have a gas content of 10%, 10 percent, 10 mass percent, vapor quality. 0 0.4. And I'm going to close this guy over here. We're not going to have a flow here. So I'm going to add a valve. I'm going to close this valve. I'm going to call it cap. So it will be end of cap. OK. And the most, most important thing, before you proceed to hydraulic analysis, if you want to calculate not only the hydraulic parameters, but also these slug flow parameters, you need to select corresponding methods of calculations. The only method that produce um, slug flow analysis is TUFFP method. Over here is also University Fluid Flow Project Methods. It's the most modern, most precise, and most predictable more than you methods for fluid flow, two-phase fluid flow analysis. So I select TU15 methods and I'm ready to go. Let's calculate, for example, is it isothermal flow? Isothermal flow? No, I'm not going to save changes. I have some zero length pipings, but that's okay. Program warns me just in case. And after that, everything is done. So I have a hydraulic calculation results. And if I have intermittent slug or plug or something like this flow on any piping components in my pipeline, I'm, I first can visualize log flow result on a corresponding tab that will, uh, was added at the last, latest version of Hydro system. Here we can see the frequencies. It's a very important parameter because if you have a slack flow with very high frequency, it can resonate with a natural, natural movements, natural frequencies of your pipeline and cause and, and cause resonance. And, and that, that's not good. That's not that's not that's not going to help this pipeline anyway. So it's first major parameters, and of course we have a slack parameters slug length, slug liquid holdup, and slug translational velocity. These three parameters allows you to calculate how this slug will affect on elbows, expansions, attractions, diffusers, valves, etc., etc., etc. You can print all this calculation results over here. We have a special print slug flow results option. It also was added in the latest version of Hydro System in 4.5. Allow me to show it to you. It goes like this. Yeah, so all these results on slug flow can be printed via this type of document. But most important thing, after all, after you calculate all of this, you can export forces loads from slug flow to start off file. So you simply press analysis for export slug flow to start proof. Choose the name of the file. For example, I will call it slug low loads okay and it's done and we have a 33 nodes with unbalanced forces i think it's not okay so let's let's figure out what what will happen <laughs> with this pipeline if we have a slack flow inside this pipeline so after we did it after we did this we're going back to start prof in start prof you simply need to oh, sorry in start prof you simply need to 
to go to the working modes, operation modes over here and load add force loads from file. You select this file and then you have a different operation modes. For each node, we create a, sep a separate operation mode because you need to calculate all these uh, loads uh, separately, separately from each other. After that, we simply press OK. And as you can see in Start Prof, for every node that has this additional loads, you will see this type of symbol over here. And by clicking this node, you can see. So there it is. Here it is. Forces, their coordinates. So you have everything you need to perform stress analysis. And after that, we simply perform our stress analysis one more time. No, I'm not going to save this file once again. And okay. oh, look at that. Look how the tables have turned. Now we have a serious problem. Now we have pipe is lifted above the support for different time moments. We're going to check different nodes. And let's see how it looks. Let's see how our piping system moves. So allow me to remind you how how it was moved in our ordinary operating mode. It was fine. We had a slight, a very, very slight movement, but nothing, nothing special, nothing crucial. Then let's see what happens for each of the elbows where we have this slug flow loads. Let's start with this elbow. First mode. Nothing special, yeah. Okay, let's select another elbow. And bang, oh, we have a problem. Look at this. Look what how this slack flow affects on this elbow. And let's look at the second one. Oh, it's more terrible, yeah. And I look at the third one. Oh, I hope you, I, I hope you see the point. So the slack flow, uh, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I'll select the special parameters for the slack flow. So the problem will be visual, but you know, it's uh, these parameters are nothing. They're not synthetic. They're not fictional. They're absolutely real. So this is what can happen if you have a slack flow inside your packing system. So the problem is crucial and you need to understand how the slack flow will behave in this pipeline. And if you have both, Hydro system and start prop software, you can easily solve this task. You see, it, it takes uh, about five from, from five to seven minutes to understand whether you have a problem or you have it. So, if you're dealing with two phase flow analysis, please be sure that there, there is a very undesirable phenomenon called slack flow and use both Hydro system and start prop software to analyze this phenomena and to predict how. It will affect on your piping behavior. This, this was the first crucial thing that we added in, in the latest version of Hydro System. The second important thing in, that we added in Hydro System latest, latest versions is we have a new import or an export features. First of all, we've added an export to PCF new feature. Now in a Hydro System, you can not, not only import the PCF files, you can export it. So in menu file, you simply press export. And here, along with start profiles, with the DXF files, you have a new option, PCF files. So you can select PCF, select save, bang, it's ready. And you can then import this PCF file, whichever you prefer, yeah, <laughs> into Smart Plant 3D and Cardworks and Autoplant and a lot of different software that supports PCF files. So if you use some kind of 3D software, be sure to install the latest version of Hydro System to be able to easily export your piping system into any software that you work with. Also, in the latest, latest versions of Hydro System, we added a new feature of import from Autodesk Revit and Civil 3D. We have a special additional plugins that, um, that is installed into 3D, uh, Revit and Civil 3D that allows you to export a special XML files for Hydro System to export data from Revit and Civil 3D into Pass Hydro System. So if you use one of these programs, you can use these modules to automatically import your piping model for hydraulic analysis into Pass Hydro System. And we have a, a new feature of import from Aviva. Usually uh, we 
for many years had a um, import from a PDMS currently in Hydro system we also have uh, an option to import data not only from PDMS but also from E3D by Viva and from Marine. So these are new features regarding regarding import and export capabilities. Another good thing about new version of Hydro system is, is that we added uh, working capabilities with disjointed piping systems. So now you can divide your piping system for into separate parts. Allow me to show to you how it how it looks. We have a special example over here. Let's look at this. So for example, I have this type of piping model. And if, for example, something like this, if, for example, I want to work in separately with these two parts, I don't, I don't need this piping over here. I can simply delete it, Bank, delete it. I have two separate parts that can be calculated, that can be worked together. And after that, if I would decide to bring back and connect the spots to each other, I have a special feature for connecting any pair of nodes in my pipeline. So I'm simply pressing tools, connect nodes, and I want to connect nodes, node number two with node number three. So I simply select starting node two, ending node three, branch name if I want to, bang, and they're all together. So after that, I need to specify the diameter, diameter of this branch. And it's done. So in this way, you can disjoint your piping system, connect your piping system, et cetera, et cetera. And of course, we support an import, import of disjointed piping systems from PCF files, from start profiles. So if you, for example, and you're working with your uh, Aviva or Revit or wh whatever, if you came up with um, building a disjointed piping system consisting of two parts, three parts, 10 parts, 100 parts, you can uh, easily import it all together in Hydro system and connect it right here, right in Hydro system. That's, that's concern about disjointed piping systems. Also, in the latest version of Hydro system, we have a new tool. We have a new tool for highlighting special components. So by clicking, right click on the element, you can not only highlight this element itself, but you can uh, highlight the branch of this element or the fragment or the nodes, et cetera, et cetera. So, so you can easily ac have access to any desired piping component. Another good thing about new version of Hydro system is we have a new special features for heat analysis. First of all, we added an ability to calculate underwater pipelines here when you select environment properties, along with outdoors, indoors, underground piping, et cetera, et cetera. You now have a new option called underwater. So if you need to calculate some underwater pipeline, pipelines, pipings below the lakes and the rivers, something like this, uh, you can easily calculate it right now. Uh, perform heat, heat analysis for this pipeline in, in the latest version of Hydro system. Also, we have a more precise calculation of internal heat transfer coefficient now. So for those um, you know, slowly moving fluids, slowly moving liquids, slowly moving gases, where this internal heat transfer coefficient affects too much on a heat, uh, heat interaction with uh, environment media, this more precise calculation will give you a more, more precise calculation of heat analysis altogether. Also, we have some slight improvements of valves and fitting heat analysis improvements. And a major point in a new heat analysis feature and now that is now in Hydro system, we have a new special a database with insulation material properties according to various international codes. What it means? It means that uh, usually in Hydro system, you would, were needed to manually specify properties of your insulation materials, heat conductivity for cold and hot conditions. Now you have inside built in inside Hydro system, a special database for, that contains different types of insulation materials, blankets, blocks, rolls, tubes, et cetera, et cetera, that contains all the necessary thermophysical properties of these materials. So now working with Hydro system, allow me to show you too. If I want to specify an insulation, for example, I want to insulate this piping system. I simply add an insulation layer. And I'm not going to need to specify these heat conductivity parameters anymore because I have this special secret code select from 
database. And if it's turned on here in this material pop-up window, I can select which material do I prefer. For example, I want to insulate this piping with mineral cotton or mineral wool blanket or something like this. So I simply select it, enter the thickness, everything's down because all the necessary parameters are all inside the program already. You can visualize it right here. We have a special insulation material database editor. It looks like this. So here in the settings editor, you simply specify the material you prefer and you can see all of its properties right here. The code, the form, the temperature, um, range, the density, and of course, thermal conductivity and its dependence on temperature. You can see it, you can edit it, and you can, of course, add a new materials inside this database if you want to. So very good, very, very common good feature for heat and hydraulic analysis of insulated pipes. And we have a lot of improvements for multi-phase flow analysis of hydro system. First of all, we have a new version of TUFP libraries that allows you to calculate not only for the hydraulic parameters, but also the flag flow parameters that we discussed earlier. We have improved flow pattern map output for TFFP model. We simplify the mechanism for selecting methods for calculating gas liquid flow. For those who previously worked with hydro system, they remember that here we have some strange XML file that you should upload, download inside hydro system to select all required methods for calculation of two phase flow parameters. It, it's not required anymore. So we have a special pop up list where you can choose what method you prefer. You prefer some base methods or TFFP methods or some specific methods for transfer pipelines, for um, homogeneous, some kind of uh, two-phase flow. You can simply select it from the list. And you also have has the ability to upload um, your, your own XML files with um, XML file with settings of two-phase flow calculation, if, if you prefer to, to adjust it manually. What else? We have uh, we, we added the correction of solid particles effect on centrifugal pumps performance for settling slurry flow analysis. We improved the algorithm algorithm for slurry flow pattern calculation in very rare cases, <laughs> to be honest, but in case of uh, very low flow velocities, this case is usually not of big interest because when you when you're pumping slurry flow, the low velocity is, is not good. It, it, it will cause the jumping of your pipeline because the slurry would, will be settled on the bottom of your pipe. And a lot more, I can, I can name every new feature in Hydro System new version. So if you use Hydro System latest version, you can download it, this, including our free, free viewer from our website. The link is simple, it, 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 it's presented right here, or you can scan QR code that presented over here. If you're already the user of Hydro System, you can simply turn on the automatic updates in Hydro System. And in this case, it will check the updates and get it if, if it's available. It's currently our newest version is already available. And if you're not a past Hydro System user yet, request a free trial on, on our website. We have a special, special page, testsuit.com trial, or you can access this page using this QR code and get a free, free one month trial period for testing Hydro system. And for more interesting lectures and webinars, it goes like this, such as this, visit and subscribe our YouTube channel where we're gonna upload this webinar and more, more webinars and other lectures, et cetera, et cetera, in the future. So that's, to, that's it for today. Thank you so much for participating in our show. Hope you see you in the future, in our future webinar.